Hi guys and welcome back to this video. So today I want to talk a little bit about maintaining your physical and mental well-being as a nurse, especially while you're pursuing so many other things in life like school, work, your family life, your friend life. As many of you know, I'm a sponsored Capella Flex Path student and I'm working on my MSN right now. And I am so busy with everything in life between working, being a new mom, working on my masters, maintaining my social media platforms, and just trying to be present in life. And sometimes when you're so busy, it's easy to get caught up in not taking care of yourself, which is so, so important. I've talked a lot about how as nurses, we have all this education on how to take care of our mental health and our physical health, yet we don't use that information for ourselves. The most important person to take care of is yourself because if you're not feeling well, you can't be as good of a mom to your kids or a wife to your husband or a friend or as good of a nurse to your patients or coworker or whatever relationships you have in your life, you cannot give them your all when you're not feeling well yourself. Some things that I like to do is to make sure I take time for myself, whether that is taking a nap or going to get my nails done or going on a quick run or just getting out and going on a walk or maybe sitting on the couch and watching Netflix for an hour. Whatever it is that you enjoy, do that for yourself. It doesn't matter if you have a bajillion other things to do, you have to make that time to recoup for yourself. For me, I can always tell when I am not giving myself enough self-love when I get really emotional and cranky. And you can ask my husband because I will just be crying over everything and everything will be a big deal and it's not. And he knows when I get like that that I need either a little extra sleep or I need to go and get away for a little bit and that is how I take care of myself when I have so many things on my plate. This is one of the reasons why I love the flex path format at Capella University. For working on my masters it's really offered a lot of flexibility to plug it into my schedule when time allows. There are certain weeks where my daughter's not sleeping well and honestly I get up and like I just feel like I can't accomplish anything that day and that's totally fine. And then there's days where I wake up and I feel recharged and ready to go and I can accomplish a lot of things. And that's when I will work on my schooling. And it's nice that I don't have to be forced to work on it on a day where I just need like a recovery day and I can just work on it when time permits for my schedule. For those of you who are interested in a little update on my MSN journey, I am just about a little over halfway done, which is super exciting. So I'm excited to keep working on it. And if you watched my last Capella video you know that one of my goals is to finish my MSN this year so hopefully we are plugging right along to accomplish that goal. If you guys have any questions or interested in the FlexPath format or Capella University all of those links will be down below. I truly love being a sponsored FlexPath student and I would not be talking about this so much if I really did not believe in the program and believe in what they are doing for students and if I didn't enjoy it myself. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.